Hello guys, good people of the world. My name is Leo. I have a lot to say and it's a little bit daunting to try and squish everything into a quick snazzy video that resonates with everybody, but I will have a go. Yeah, so uh, we are building a healing center in Portugal. Uh, by we, I mean we are now 42 and counting. Uh, every few days we get a new member uh, of healers, uh, people who practice healthcare without harm from various modalities. Um, I choose people deliberately who are from a wide variety of approaches so that we have a truly holistic team. Um, everybody will work just for food and accommodation, for the love of what they do, to genuinely help people. Uh, we're quite excited. Um, the model of the centre will be that we have 10 to 20 to start with, um, small eco houses, um, one bedroom little units for residential patients to stay in. Um, the power will be off-grid, uh, electricity supplied by turbines from a running stream. Uh, we'll have a permacultural food garden supplying organic, real, medicinal food, good stuff, uh, which is obviously also tended by volunteers. So we don't have any bills for water or food or electricity. Hooray! Um, we do need to build the thing, however, and essentially it's a small village we're making. Um, a lot of land, 20 units, uh, one big healing center, the medical stock, the electricity system, irrigation system, uh, 150,000 euros is the goal for that. Uh, I think that's not bad for building a village. Uh, it's so low, the price, because all the labor is free and all the units will be very modest, all the uh, buildings, uh, made of either cob or earth bags. Um, my background is that in 2001 I started uh, paediatric nursing, uh, children's nursing, uh, with a view to after that uh, studying a graduate entry program MBBS, Medical Bachelor and Bachelor of Surgery, so that I could become a doctor because I wanted to help people, I thought. Um, however, only after two weeks of uh, working in hospitals, shadowing consultant doctors, I saw that this was very much not the case. I was not helping people. Um, I saw that pharmaceutical drugs have one goal and that is to make money. And it makes no business sense to uh, cure diseases and not have that person come back and buy more drugs. It makes even less business sense to prevent diseases. Um, so drugs actually have the opposite effect of what they're supposed to, what they advertise as, what they marketed as, as having. So for example, uh, anti-inflammatories cause inflammation. It's well known in the medical industry that if you take an ibuprofen for long enough, just one a day, two a day, for a few years, you'll have uh, likely uh, problems with inflammation manifest as things like uh, ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, which is inflammation of the entire digestive system caused by an anti-inflammatory. How can this be? Um, chemotherapy, fantastic example. Chemotherapy is given to cancer patients. They have a compromised immune system and they have cancer. What does chemotherapy do? Amongst other things, it causes very aggressive cancers. It causes more cancers. Uh, usually takes several years, roughly around five, to, uh, for it to proliferate and it further reduces the immune system, just what you need. Um, these drugs are designed to temporarily cover over symptoms while doing more damage and we're all quite fed up with it. Um, maybe some of you watching this are too, maybe you've had experience with this, maybe you've started to realize this is the case. Um, one big problem uh, which explains why this system is so and why it's, uh, it's very convincing and why doctors who are supposedly very intelligent people um, are promoting this stuff is because there is no law in any country of the world, as far as we know, that says you have to publish the results of all drug trials. Maybe it sounds not very exciting, but this has immense repercussions throughout our lives. It means that when they test in a laboratory a new medicine, if it kills all the monkeys, or it causes an average of 15 tumours in the lab rats or whatever, um, you don't publish it, you just ignore it. So you tweak the methodology until you get a result that you like and you publish that. So there is no such thing in the pharmaceutical industry as evidence-based medicine. Um, this is a huge problem because the drugs that you are taking do more harm than good and certainly uh, there's nothing in place to protect you from that. Um, while making a lot of money for the pharmaceutical industry, creating drug dependency, creating more disease. Um, our system, which we're setting up, is a new paradigm in healthcare. It's a revolutionary healthcare model, volunteer-led, uh, truly holistic, truly multidisciplinary. Mm. <laughs> I can't really find the words. We're quite enthusiastic about it, but we're also a little bit frustrated because we need the money to build this thing. So. Um, 
please please donate even if it's a couple of pounds or a couple of euros if everybody who watches this uh, gives that we'll be have this thing up and running in a matter of weeks um, we need the word spread as well if you resonate with this um, if you've lost loved ones after giving what you thought was the best possible care through your doctor um, if you've been disillusioned with medicines that were essentially pushed on you without informed consent, without really telling you what the side effects are and what the long-term effects are, yes, there is another way. Please support us. Um, share this, spread the word, get it out there. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions. The little uh, contact button on this website goes straight to my email. Um, yeah, good. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I really hope we raise enough money soon. Um, yeah. Thank you beautiful people, have a lovely day and see you around. Cheers.